It's a huge honour. Um, one I wouldn't have expected, but uh, delighted to, to get voted by the lads. Um, I know in a team sport, uh, individual awards don't carry much merit, but it is still nice all the same to, to get the vote. We were just together as a group and um, Leo presented the Young Player of the Year and Players Player of the Year, so I didn't quite see it coming. Um, but yeah, probably not too disappointed that that was the way I prefer it like that amongst the lads as opposed to a big event, to be honest. But uh, yeah, so it was, it was pretty cool getting it. It was a speech. I didn't, have, didn't make one. Kalen made a, a nice one because he made a, embarrassed himself and then I knew to say nothing afterwards. So. <laughs> A lot of uh, positives to look back on, like, like you said, the 53 players used um, and obviously a wider group as well, training. Uh, the unbeaten to go to win the Pro 14 is pretty special, um, reflecting on it. I know we were straight back into Europe afterwards, which obviously was a little bit disappointing, but taking a moment to reflect on everything that had gone before, it was pretty cool to be a part of a season like that. Um, and then obviously the European disappointment still leaves us with that motivation to, to kick on, which, which we've had to do pretty quickly straight into the to next season with the way the schedule is going. So, um, yeah, it was a great year to be a part of and everyone's motivated to, to go again. That game, that final the Aviva, um, despite being in an empty stadium and family and friends not being there, it's still the highlight of my rugby career, certainly to date, or one of them anyway. Um, Getting a chance to captain Lancer is kind of what you dream about as a kid. Um, and even when you're in here, you don't really think those moments become a reality until all of a sudden it's happening. So, uh, yeah, it was definitely something I'll never forget. And I think it was made even more special having Ferg and Rob there at the end to, to lift the trophy because they would have been two heroes of mine for the as I was in secondary school watching the game um, when I'm almost as most influential watching my heroes and getting a chance to play with them and then obviously the disappointment of seeing them having to re retire uh, yeah so it was, it was pretty cool to be part of the day um, for them it's been jam-packed since coming out of the the COVID break but it's it's how we like it between the Leinster matches um, and then into the international window which is going to be flat out for whatever it is eight weeks um, so yeah, it's so exciting to, to get hopefully get the chance to play in some of those games um, and yeah just can't wait uh, any opportunity to, to represent Leinster obviously grab it to both hands and, and try and take advantage of the opportunity and the same for Ireland uh, to, gra to represent your country is a massive honour so going into camp now um, I know there's a few guys who haven't been in before uh, which is brilliant but to be everyone's motivated to try and get their or stick their hand up to get their place on the pitch and then the responsibility falls on those 23 to then try and deliver for the country so it's a um, hugely exciting time ahead. I think as, as well with stadiums being empty and people would be and, and maybe being restricted in our movements with the levels and stuff like that, the, those brief moments to, to be able to represent your country when I'm sure a lot of people be sitting in watching on TV, it's, um, yeah, it's one you want to be a part of and, and realise how special and lucky we are to be the few to go out and do something like this. So. Um, yeah, it's excited for the time ahead.